Hello everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. In the last session we wrapped up the Jorvik arc, we took down the three members of the Order that were there and we did a, uh, whatchamacallit, a anomaly thing with a very nasty end. <laughs> but uh, now we will be heading on back home to report to Vanvi as per usual. What have we got new in the database? Uh, Repton. In the 9th century, Repton was the political centre of power for the Mercian royal family. It also held symbolic importance as the burial site of Mercian kings. Around 873, Halfdan Ragnarsson and his army took the mausoleum and used the church as the gatehouse so to their wintering camp. A not-so-subtle power move. When have we had anything to do with Repton? When, why did this come up? I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, the people of the Longhouse were sturdy folk who tolerated the Vikings, up to a point anyway. Long established in North America, their ways would remain long after the Viking ways had come and gone. Yeah, I don't know why either of those things have popped up. <laughs> oh well. Oh, and there's some new festival going on. The settlement is awash in colour. Well, I guess we're about to see it. Um... Right, yes, there wasn't anything left I wanted to do. I managed to get two wealth things in Jorvik. No mysteries, no artifacts. Great stuff. Great stuff. Okay, uh... Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> Return to Asgard. Do the fucking Hytha Medallion thing. The Ostara Festival. The River to Raid. Jesus Christ. I don't care. <laughs> Just let me let me power through this main story. Today we're going to be uh, heading to the final top area that is available at the moment. Uh, which is slightly higher power level than I am currently, but it shouldn't be a big deal. And then, that should probably take, what, like, four parts maybe, judging by the last few. Three or four parts. And then uh, we'll be heading to the bottom of the map to rescue Sigurd with all of our allies hopefully supporting us. Oh boy. How pretty. Yes, yes. <laughs> ah, good. Eivor's here. Now we can settle this. What seems to be troubling you? <laughs> this stick in the mud doesn't want to celebrate Ostara. Neither do I, mate. Equinox. The veil between our worlds will be dangerously thin. We need to prepare. Why not both? Prepare for the Equinox and celebrate Ostara. I see you have already started on the decorations. <laughs> of course we have. Here's what we do. We've also organized some new events and brought back some favorites from you. <laughs> All this noise and merriment will attract the spirits. I will aid you in protecting the settlement, Alvis. Good. Find me after dark. And before he explains the egg hunt to you, just know I was coerced. Now then, there is much to do. Norvid will need your help decorating, and Maida might need some words of encouragement. She didn't take being crowned the May Queen very well. That is a lot. And the Zag Hunt. Oh, it's already started. Speak with me when you are ready to start the hunt. No. Event started, Ostara Festival. Uh, yeah, hard pass on that. Multiple quests accepted. Absolutely not. Wow, this actually looks uh, pretty different, huh? In less than 48 hours, the festival will be over. Oh, no. What a shame. So next time I play, this won't be here? Wait, it's like completely fucking changed. Oh, no, wait. No, I'm... I'm further to the left of the camp that I, than I thought. Is there any changes down this way? Just more decorations and stuff. All right. Only because you all have such good taste. Yeah, no, I still now, don't care. <laughs> this, this one begins a long time oh, ago. Oh, kili do kili. Randvi. Oh, Randvi. Did we get any new letters or anything? You are a good boy. No. You are a good boy. Yes, you are. All right. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik, the Lufjana, and Hjorzeit. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. 
You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. Donk. You gotta place that one very carefully. It's the size of the entire city. <laughs> Something troubling has come. A letter from Alfgar and Lincoln. Oh no. It seems the new elderman, Herifrid, has turned on them. When you are able, you should visit with him. See what this is about. Letter from Alfgar. A letter from Alfgar arrived at the settlement stating that Herifrid has fortified himself in Anacasta after turning on the people of Lincoln. Oh, for fuck's sake. Tell me more about Lincolnshire. What has become of their elderman, Herifrid? He has turned on his people. Wait, what? And what's more, Hytham has learned his true allegiance. The Order of the Ancients. Gods. This is my doing, Ranvi. I voted to install Herathrith as Elderman. Indeed. And now Alvgar asks that you return and right the wrong you brought to life. He is waiting near Anacaster with his beard. Will you go? Holy fuck. Okay. Change of plan. We're not doing the other thing. <laughs> We're heading, heading back to... Wherever it was. Fight beside Alfgar and make this right. Be careful. Herifrid may be more than he seems. Holy shit! I can't believe that. Why can't I open my menu? Oh, there we go. That was weird. It wasn't letting me open it. The fuck is that? Not sure. Um. Well, shit. Interesting. Interesting. I knew it was going to go wrong because someone thought it would be a good idea to comment on the video where I made the choice. Something like, wow, you made the wrong choice. It's like, well, brilliant. That's fucking spoilers, isn't it? But uh, I didn't expect that to be what happened. That is uh, pretty nuts. Okay, let's head over here then. I just thought he wasn't going to show up when it came to battle or something. But yes, please, don't my next <laughs> please, please think before you comment dumb shit like that. Please, pretty please. Obviously, that is spoilers. Telling me that the person I chose is the wrong choice and I'm going to regret it. Like, yes, that is completely spoilers. Engage brain before writing comment. <laughs> Thank you. That would be great. <laughs> So I wonder how much of Lincoln we have left to do. And I wonder what happens, something you can tell me, because it's a different path that I haven't taken, uh, is what happens if you choose a different uh, person to be in charge? Why can't I go in this water? Hello? Horse? There we go. What happens if you choose a different person to be in charge? Because obviously there were two other choices. I imagine if you choose the rich dude, he could possibly turn out to be a member of the order as well, perhaps? Like it just makes wh whichever one of those two you pick make them a member of the order. But if you choose uh, the nice dude, I wonder what happens there. Whether they just like kill him and take the place anyway or something? I don't know. I'm interested. So that is something that you can answer because it's obviously not the path that I've gone down. Our camp is just here. We are the men of Lincolnshire. Remember like I could definitely, I could definitely imagine him, kings of Lindsay. like it just swapping out the bishop today. for him and saying like, no, the bishop's good, but he's actually the order member if you choose him to be the person in charge. Such carnage I've never seen. That twisted bishop must pay the devil his due. A bold attack, and in broad daylight, the hatred that eats at that man must be ravenous. Alfgard. Who's fetching the turf this time, eh? The one to freeze to death here. Have a different outcome, but no matter. You cannot huh. unthrow a stone from a creek. Alfgard. Eivor. That was weird. When I, I spoke to Hunwald, his text, his outcome, little three dots above his head disappeared. No matter. And then this guy still has some, but he's just repeating the same dialogue. <laughs> Why? Ooh. Our warsmith has arrived. The feards are ready to fight. Chieftain Eivor, we are ever so glad you came. How could I not? It was my vote that got you into this mess. The bishop caught us unaware. Claims to have taken this shire in the name of some sort of religious order. The Order of Ancients. That's the one. Do you know what he means? 
I mean. Unfortunately. <laughs> hastily elected Ailerman, I advise we attack quickly before he can rally more troops. Let's begin. We attack now. Ready the field. Our first task will be to breach the outer wall. Then we deal with the troops inside. Mm. Time to have a meditate. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. <laughs> I guess we're just, I guess this is going to be fairly quick. It's not going to be like a whole series of chain, chains of quests. It seems like we're just going to, this is like a final assault thing. So I guess we're just going to attack, kill the bishop and that'll be that maybe, possibly. For the glory of Lincolnshire. The Indeed. best way to breach is with a battering ram. I should help it along. Go, go, go! Arrows! Charge! Hey, look at those men going up and over the wall. Good shit, lads. <laughs> Quick as you like, boys. I feel like they could push this faster. There's so many of them. There's a whole group of dudes pushing this. It can't be that heavy. Charge! Initiate strike! Not sure what went wrong there. There we go. You have to like push forward. We have to keep pushing this fucking thing. Okay, you're still chatting. Wait, why are you backing up? Never mind, maybe we can't do anything with that anymore. That kind of looks like we're going to need the, the thing again, but it wouldn't let me get back on it, so I don't know. Uh, an explosion could do it, eh? Hmm. Seems like a lie to me. Is it gonna make me use these even though previously you didn't need to? Because in everything else, the stuff you need a pot for, you can just use the explosive arrow for. But I guess randomly not this time. Time to shoot down the drawbridge thing. Hello, friends. Wow. Okay. That was a big old yeet. I don't have any stamina. Oh, how did you get up here? Well in, lad. God damn it. Fucking... Fucking knew I shouldn't have given it to the religious dude. God damn it, man. Point me to the bishop. No one else need die today. He, he's, he's in the chapel there, hiding away. Scamp was a coward. 
Let no one leave that church without facing judgment. I wasn't even considering fucking making him the elder man when I first went into the room to make the decision. And then I somehow talked myself into it. God damn it. I do wonder. I do wonder uh, if the rich dude would have turned out to be a member of the order instead of Herifrith. If we'd have chosen him. And also, yeah, what, what would have happened if we'd have chosen the nice guy? Because honestly, there's no way he could have turned out to be a member of the order. That's just not... That would have happened. I don't think. He's too nice. Okay, all of these doors are barred. And there's no windows that we can shoot through. So I guess we need to get up somewhere... Up in... Up from the top? Oh. Sup, Bishop. I died the day I hid behind these robes, this cross. To bring the light of my order to a wider view, I debased myself. Clawed my way to the top of this common religion, full of common men. I should have lived as the ancients did. That's the folly of mankind, Hiravrit. We wallow in our failures like happy pigs in a sty of shit. We should have learned to enjoy it. It played the end sound too early. <laughs> it played the sound of the taking of the medallion and the dis dissolving of the dude. Like, before he'd actually finished talking. Ah. The liar order member unveiled. Nice. Alright. Well, that was cool. <laughs> and unexpected. So. That was you. Oh, you were the final... Right, okay. The Crozier was approached by a member of the Order when he was only a young churchgoer. He found purpose in spreading their message throughout Wessex before reaching the rank of Priost, at which point he returned to his home of Lincolnshire, a land absent of authority and direction. There he took advantage of a fragile political hierarchy and gained power over the disenfranchised, using them to fulfill the Order's agenda. And then he got the dick. Um, right, Tatfrid. The liar, uh... Gr marketplace or playing music on stage in Grantbridge. Tatfrid joined the Order almost by accident. A Saxon who fought with the Norse, he led a successful raid in Wessex during which he spared the life of three prisoners. One of those was the Crozier, who soon recruited Ta Tatfrid for his fighting skills and absolute determination. By dint of effort and will, the liar recently rose to the rank of Ma Magister. Magister? Magister? He was recruited by the Crozier. And was you the Crozier? Yeah, he was recruited by the bishop and then became his boss. That's quite funny. Get fucked. Um, so he's in Grantbridgeshire. Have we been to Grantbridgeshire? I think we have, right? Uh, yes, Grantbridgeshire, and he's in the town of Grantbridge in Grantbridgeshire. Okay, well, we'll finish off this, uh, bit of the main quest, and then we'll go and take out our second fucking top dog. The robes you wear are but a costume, allure to win the people's trust. Think nothing of your soul or salvation. You have the truth, the shadows have dripped away, and now you see the light of the world. Take comfort in that, and kill all who impede you, the instrument. Who the fuck's the instrument? Is the top dog the instrument? No, that's the father. The rake. Ah. Folke is the instrument. Right. Right. What was once down there? 
Letter to King, to King Chelwolf. Lord King, you will forgive my bluntness, but I demand your aid. Lincolnshire is facing a great threat, and it is one that you helped permeate. It is your duty now to see its end. The Dane Eivor must be stopped. Wow. You forged a path forward for the he heathens. This is your failure, but you can make it right. God will forgive you, but you must act now. Incredible stuff. Is there anything down here? Is this going to be openable? It is. A key. Okay. Huh? Loot some bodies. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Fuck ladders, says Eivor. Okay, where the fuck was that key for then? Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Hmm. Well, luckily I don't actually care. <laughs> Sup, lads? Are you going to be uh, becoming the new Elderman permanently then? Eivor! You fought as one possessed by a demon today. Herifrith may yet have allies in Mercia, members of his secret order. But the immediate danger is past. You have my deepest thanks, Eivor. To you I owe all my future happiness and prosperity. Uh, you're fit for this role, Elfgar. You're a good fit for Elderman, Elfgar. Just make sure you put the Shire's needs above your own. Of course. I'd not be the man I am today without this land, these people. It's a shame Hunwald was not fit to darn his father's boots, but he can bring joy to the people here. That's a pretty mean way of saying that. <laughs> yes, about that. I believe he has a somewhat different idea of his future. You should talk to him. About? Until next we meet, Eivor. The strength of Lincolnshire is yours, should you need it. Well, I will, in just one arc's time. <laughs> We are bonded now, your people and mine. I have found better friends in Danes, to be honest. Swanborough is my love, and you are a better friend to me than any here. Would it be an imposition to ask... Well, could we live with your clan? Absolutely. Swanborough and I. It would mean so much to her. And to me. Of course you may. We'd be happy to host you, ferocious swan, and your charming dame. Come when it suits you. Oh, yes! Uh, I'll pull my weight, I promise. And fight when needs be, and I won't drink more than I'm allotted. You fight with us, Hunwald, and you can drink as much as you like. Thank you, Eivor. <laughs> this means... It means the world to me. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. Cool. Well, that was interesting. It did, did it? It did give me the Lincolnshire art completed thing before, right? I feel like I'd have noticed if it sent me back to Ramvi, but didn't give me the completed thing. So that's cool. I didn't actually mark this guy, did I? There we go. That is very cool. I very much enjoyed that little twist. Now, let's go and take out one of the top dogs. Uh, which would be the fastest way, I guess, there. And I guess I don't need to actually mark the town of Grant Bridge now that I've marked the order, dude. Wait, there's another new quest? Oh, stop it. Wait. It's still saying there's new quest with an exclamation mark. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. Does anyone actually do those? Like, serious question. Does anyone see that they've added a bunch of pointless shit to the game as part of an event and go, Ooh, I just need to do all this pointless shit. 
Like, I, it, people do it in, like, live services, like Destiny and stuff. An event happens and it, like, matters because it's for stuff for, like, running content with friends and everything. But, like, I don't think this is, I don't think those little things they've added are going to actually give anything meaningful that you'd want. It's just, like, busy work by the looks of it. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Hello, mate. Doing a good job being the fucking top dude in your order. What's this? The boss just sits around doing nothing and earning a fat paycheck? Wow. Games mirroring real life. <gasps> Sleep well. You won. I can see defeat. When Scops mention me, they will sing of my conquests. Cowards do not get sagas. I am no coward. In a long lost battle for Wessex, I was the victor. The Scot could speak of that time. Focus on my lost honor. No, I'll leave your reputation as it is. Here, in the blood blackened mud. Got him. Bitch! Okay. Oh, what's going on now? Even more uh, additional powers? We didn't care about that one or that one, right? Oh no, we did get that one. Uh, loot food. Able now has a higher chance of looting food from bodies. Okay. Your raven gathers loot from targets killed with ranged attacks. Interesting. And last but not least. When activated, the leap attack damage has a larger area of effect and can be done at any height. Eh. I feel like the leap attack is used like once every... 30 episodes. <laughs> we probably used it like three times total. But we will get... Looting food, because that could always come in helpful. And we will get the raven loot, because that's just kind of neat. Very good, very good. Order member eliminated. Did he give any uh, information on anyone else? No. So we still have two dudes. The vice, which we only need one more thing for. Not sure... I guess by killing this guy and we need to go to Gloucestershire for that and we can't go to Gloucestershire that's the one on the left right yeah that's the one on the left it's 220 so like we could totally do it but it's not available yet I guess it's story locked the only place that's available is Snottinghamshire aside from the bottom area obviously um oh 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 kill him Oh, kill him. Ooh. Oh, God, it makes me sick to look at that wealth bar being ticked now. How much fucking time did that take me? I mean, I guess I had to do it. I had to do a ton of side stuff to allow me to be at the point where I can just now mainline the main quest without having to worry about powering up through side quests. So I guess it would have had to happen at some point anyway. And I just did it early on and then got very, very sick of it. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. It's time to die. It is your time to die. It's time to die. It is your time to die. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. do. It's Kendall Jenner. Never have I wanted to attack someone so much. Just kidding. <laughs>
GG, easy. Confirming the kill right in front of you. Lol. How mad. How mad. Now the trolls take you. I have seen a crown on a cleaning basin. There it was. I stole it, ran with it, hid it. Now maggots feast on it. I am certain. Let them rule old Albion. Sorry, what? <laughs> sorry, sorry, what? What is this shit you are chatting? <laughs> Idiot. You want to try too, mate? Are you sure? Warning shot. A a another warning shot. You still want to go. So many warning shots. <laughs> I really did try and warn you, man. Oh my god, there's more. Well, cool. <laughs> did that unlock any details about anyone else? That was you. Wily and quick, Kendall the Blood Brewer made her name by slitting the th enough throats to fill vats with blood. She is one of the favorites of the order who assign her important targets. Not anymore, they don't. Right, so we've got all of these guys. The rake is a woman who works at the ruins of a church. Hmm. Hamptonshire, I don't think we've been to yet. And Portchester, I don't think we've been to yet, right? Hamptonshire. Is Hamptonshire the bottom? Yeah, this is the fucking 340 power one. Oh boy, can't wait for that. And... Uh, Port Sisters? That's... Where is that? Wait, am I blind? Kent, Essex, Oxfordshire, London, Granbridge, East Anglia, Oxford, Lincolnshire, the Decestershire... What? Where's this? Is it just a town somewhere else? Hang on, what the fuck did it say? <laughs> oh, in Sussex. Ah, right. Uh, northeast of Portchester. Okay. Uh, Sussex? Where the fuck's Sussex? Have we done Sussex? No, Sussex is there. Okay. Uh, so it didn't unlock anything, basically. No. Only four targets left to get. Are there any, uh, like, visible in the world right now? Anyone, anyone roaming around? They've been roaming around, always looking down. Do, do, do. No, I can't see any. Um, well, then. Back to round V it is. Yoink. That was uh, an interesting first uh, first part of the session. <laughs> Not at all how I expected that to go, and I'm very pleased for it. Give me them little twists. That is, that is very nice. Very much appreciated. Now don't you dare give me another fucking festival cutscene when I arrive back here. Because I just don't care. <laughs> okay, good. Very, very good. Very, very nice. Meow. Right. Rand V. <laughs> I sorted out the issue in 30 minutes flat. Praise me. <laughs>